We never ask for war at all. We don't create grounds for conflict, not at all. We are interested in the rebuilding and the building and the building until we are where we want to be. We, we, are not, we know what war means. I, I, I have had some people, you know, interviews and FT in London or France, Vent Catherine, France or Teve Seng or something like that. And somebody saying, I don't rule out a war with Rwanda. You know, uh, when I used to talk to this person who keeps saying this, I used to advise uh, humbly tell him that we are actually tired of war. We need to be working together and creating peace between our two countries. And uh, because if you are looking for somebody who knows a thing about war, you come to me, please. I know something about it. And I know how bad it is. And, and by that, I know how you cannot have anything better than peace. So this problem can be resolved. If uh, one country headed for elections uh, next year is not trying to create uh, grounds for an emergency so that elections don't take place, well, not that he, he, not that he won the first elections, as we know. So, if he's trying to find another way of having the next election is postponed, then uh, I would rather he uses. Uh, he used the other excuses, not not us, because we, I don't think we. I think we have really a lot of problems uh, of our own. We don't need to add other people's problems. Uh, but what is surprising is that uh, I've never. You will help me to try and to, to understand that. I don't know how it comes that everybody, the opposition, the what? The, the, I think putting the blame on Rwanda, which the whole world seems, buys them votes. Why, why should having problems with Rwanda and votes for people? I see politics heating up in, in DRC and everyone who has something to say, whether it is uh, whoever, just keeps saying, oh, Rwanda has invaded, Rwanda has invaded. Since when? 